What's up, everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life, and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams, and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever living boo-boo necro face stain off of that subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1100 ladder we are currently only sitting at 10 subscribers away from the 1200 ladder and we may be getting up there much quicker if uh something that i saw turns out to come to fruition but we're going to be talking about that later on in the week if things go how i think they will according to plan so anyways uh, sorry to leave you in the wind on that, but uh, it's very exciting. So let's <laughs> let's talk about Jesus Christ. This sixty card pile of necroface shit. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, necroface has been around since Gladiators Assault, which was like two thousand and seven, and your boy been playing the game competitively since two thousand eight. Two weeks. Uh, before they changed the fusion deck to the extra deck, uh, Necroface is very expensive out of that set too. Um, but this is a 60 card pile that came in top 16 at some sort of event. I was watching it on a M. Cole 40s channel. He said it was some sort of con or convention or something. Um, I'm not really too sure, but regardless, it was an event that came in top 16. So it's worth talking about, even if it was only the size of a locals, because who knows, maybe you could take this to a regional and smack some ass. I can guarantee them to you, if you take this to a regional, <laughs> ain't nobody going to be knowing what the fuck you're doing. Everybody going to be like, you played a 60 car pile of trash. Uh, no, we played a 60 car pile of necroface. So, uh, really quick, for those of you who don't know what it does, it's a level four dark zombie Effect monster, 1200 attack, 1800 defense, and uh, it's got a really creepy ass face. If this card is normal summon, you shuffle all banished cards into the deck. That seems really good. This card gains 100 attack for each card shuffled into the main deck by this effect. And if this card is banished, each player banishes five cards from the top of their deck or their entire deck of less than five. So this is not once per turn. So something that Grim Maju decks used to do back in the day is abuse Necroface and combine it with Grim Maju, and basically Necroface should be your backup plan. Uh, a lot of Grim Maju decks, even like I would say a couple years ago, were like using the Gizmex and stuff to banish a bunch of cards and use Necroface to get those cards back. And that's kind of what you're doing here, except with a Thunder Dragon package. Um, you know, you can ditch the Thunder Dragons to get Recursion and be able to, you know, get your plays going. You know, ditch a Thunder Dragon, get two more. You've got Dark. You've got the Buy Steals, because why not? This deck, minus the Buy Steals, plays nine fucking hand traps in a 60 card deck. Like, oh my god. Can someone in the comments please do the math on. I guess if you include the buy steals, then 10, 11, 12, 13 hand traps. So what is the math on a 60 card pile drawing at least two hand traps in your opening five card hand? Because it can't be high. There's no fucking way. And this dude's even playing two cross out designators. I guess because since you can't play more than 60 cards in your main deck, he just had to opt for two with a call by. Normally with cross out, I'm always under the impression of if you have to play cross out, then your deck already has issues. But in a deck like this, you can get away with it for a couple different reasons. Um, one, you're a 60 card deck. So the odds of you drawing all of your copies of like a Gamma or a Droll or whatever are very low. So if you happen to open up cross out then you already have multiple targets that you can hit with cross out whether it's your own buy steal uh whether hopefully you don't have to do this but hit like an aigido or a kelbeck against tier hitting the hand traps things like that uh obviously you wouldn't want to hit something like necroface because it won't get its effect because remember cross out negates it but it's really interesting to be seeing that played in this deck so anyway i'm gonna shut up now let's go ahead and go through this deck profile so of course we're playing the one uh driver with the three gamma that's obviously standard uh one chaos dragon levy near one thunder dragon duo two copies of lubelion yeah this deck's gonna be expensive af already two copies of the chaos creator so it has to be special summon from your hand by banishing a light and dark monster from your grave similar to bls if you control this card that was special summon from the hand you could target three banished monsters with different names special summon one of them then place the rest in the bottom of the deck in any order you can only use effective 
the Chaos Creator per turn. So you can just get your Necroface back from the Banish Pile. That's pretty hot. Uh, we're playing one Druid Worm with the three Magnema. It's it's good. Uh, three copies of Thunder Dragon Roar. One Hawk with three OG Thunder Dragon. Three Thunder Dragon Dark. Uh, one uh, Collapse Serpent and one Wyvern Buster. Three Aloof Lupine. And then we're playing... <laughs> Because I guess why the fuck not at this point? One Kelbeck and one Aikido <laughs> with three Diviner. So the only targets in this deck for Diviner is itself, Kelbeck, and Aikido. There are no targets in the extra deck. <laughs> so do with that what you will. Um, I really don't think that this deck really cares about milling. Like, you get your Thunder Dragon stuff into the grave, and then you can banish them to use their effects. So, like, it's not in detriment to you. I guess your tier matchup is a little bit more difficult if you care at all. Um, so there, there's that. Uh, we're playing three copies of Necrophase, two copies of Mind Tuner. So this thing's a level three light psychic tuner. You can activate one of these effects. Banish up to one light and one dark monster from your hand in your grave. Increase or decrease this card's level by the exact number banished until the end of this turn. Or you can target up to two of your banished monsters, one light and one dark, or turn them to the grave. And if you do increase or decrease this card's level by the exact number returned until the end of this turn, you can only use this effect once per turn. So what you mean to tell me is that if I have a Necroface in my grave, I can banish it off the Mind Tuner and make my opponent banish the top five. And if you hit more Necrofaces, guess what, Sugar Boo Bear? You're going to trigger those too. Oh my lord. <laughs> so anyway, moving on with the pile. We're playing three copies of Ash. We already mentioned the Gamma and the Diviners. Three Drolls, because you got to play Drolls this format. And then for the Spells, because apparently we have room. Uh, three Lure, because it's a Chaos deck. Hello? <laughs> One Gold Sark, because uh, we're playing Necroface. Uh, two copies of Thunder Dragon Fusion, three copies of Chaos Space, one Call By with the two Cross Out, and then the three E Telly. Uh, you can grab Gamma or the Mind Tuner. I think those are your only targets, actually. Yeah, those are your only targets. I mean, that's fine. You're sitting on five targets with three E Tellies, and plus two, like, you can go E Telly, and then if the opponent goes like Ash, you can say fuck you, Gamma, and you have Excel Synchro with Baron and the Stardust, because we're playing all of the Burger King cheese. <laughs> uh, for the extra deck, we're playing one Cross Sheep, one Lambda. Uh, one Apollosa, one Skull Dread, because we can afford to draw a crap ton. Uh, one Zero Boros, one Underworld Goddess, one Chaos Beast. I had trouble finding this card on here, actually. This card's actually pretty good. One OG Stardust Dragon with the Excel Synchro and the Baron. So, remember with Excel Synchro, it doesn't just get you a tuner. You can also use its effect. Uh, where is it here? Yeah, if it's Synchro Summon, you special on level 2 or lower tuner from the grave. Then during the main phase, quick effect, you contribute this card, special summon a Stardust Dragon from your extra deck. This is treated as a Synchro Summon. Then immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro Summon using monsters you control as material. For the rest of the turn, the monster Synchro Summon by this effect are unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. So essentially he's playing this because he has the space because you know like let's say your opponent imperms your excel synchro or something or even if it just goes through you can get the gamma and then use its quick effect to make the stardust and then go into the baron and the baron's unaffected by activated effects that seems really damn good or you can also do like chain ying or chaos angel and just have him be unaffected uh going along with that we're playing one chain ying with the chaos angel uh, one Dis Potter, which is another level 10, and then, of course, the two copies of Thunder Dragon Titan, because Colossus is still, unfortunately, banned. I feel like Colossus can maybe come back to one. A little side note there. Uh, for the side deck, we're playing three copies of Nibiru, three copies of Dark Ruler, two D Fisher, three Evenly Match, a uh, one Etude with three Anti Spell. This is the first deck I've seen uh, evenly being played in a while, actually. Let's go ahead and shuffle this up real quick. Boom, 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 boom. Let, let's see what this pile gives us. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, this hand is busted AF. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. You've got the draw for follow-up on the opponent's turn, or, like, if you need to cross out, then you've got the cross out. Um, you've got the chaos space for more lines. You have the E-Telly to get you to Gamma. Uh, the chaos space lets you dump one to add a light or dark. Um, yeah, so this just basically gets you to anything in your deck. Chaos Space is basically a small world in this deck, if you think about it. Yo, this deck is broken, bro. Like, this opening... What the fuck? Th that opening hand's disgusting. One, two, three, four, five. Bro, we opened up a double Necroface. We win now, right? Fusion Summon one Thunder Fusion Monster from your extra deck by shuffling the fusion materials listed on into the deck. From among the monsters on your field, in your grave, and your face-up banish cards. During your main phase, except turn this card, sent the grave, and banish card from your grave. Add a Thunder Monster from your deck to your hand. Eh, that's not very good. Yeah, three Thunder Dragon monsters. Yeah, so th this is kind of a brick. Uh, three, four, five. Actually, no, I, I take everything I just said back. This hand's a brick. Unless there's just something I'm missing, but this just looks like a brick. Ugh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, this isn't terrible, I don't think. 
Uh, three, four, five. No, that's actually a bit of a brick. Uh, let's try one more time. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Okay, this is better. This at least gets us to Necroface, and then we can allure her into something. Okay, so it's worth messing around with, I guess. So, guys, let me know what you think about this Necroface dot deck baby back bullshit of a pile. Like, I say baby back bullshit, but no, like, all, all jokes aside, like, this deck's really cool. Like, this is hilarious to me. Like, it makes me wish that Colossus was at one, so, like, we could maybe have more lines. But, like, from what I'm kind of seeing here on paper, this seems really good. Like, this is basically just a chaos deck with, like, a bit of a couple different engines and, like, 13 hand traps. So, y'all let me know what the math is on that, opening up two hand traps in a 60-card deck. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.